Yeah, man, I say all praises and honor. I'll tell you how my shame is. I'm sorry, my shame is. And the blind and silly apostles and elders of Raven and Stone, show on to all the brothers out here pushing the street in our sincerity and all the honesty. This is a brother from James, you know, I'm Jamaica Camp. I'm Yashamai. Sorry. I want. I know I do, I'm, you know, I'm a listen. You know, I'm. And um, the time we're living in, you know, because you know, we see, see it very close, yeah. so very close right now. The spot we reach now, you know, according to what basically prophecies them, the scripture speak. You know, two main prophecies, the third world's war destruction, and the main prophecy, you know, we've been waiting for over the years to come to pass. You know, we see all the moves, everything I put into place, you know, that this prophecy will come to pass, right? According to what the scripture says, because scripture tell us, um, the how of Ashmer shall say, before it come to pass and show us. Right? So people can say, I don't hide I'll do it. I can't remember a scripture brother. Um I think um, Isaiah 5 I 42 and 5. It says Isaiah 42 verse Yeah, I'm start a, yeah man, start a tree. Verse 3 says, I have declared the former things from the beginning well, and they went forth out of my mouth gone. and I shoot them and I did them suddenly and they came to pass. And they came to pass. And now we see the prophecies them have come to pass. Right? The moves I make, the count where the scripture say, you know, we see how Russia now over the years, you know, over the years we've been speaking about Russia, you know, and, and, and the things that Russia got to do, the, the important part Russia got playing at this third world war destruction. And yeah, people you but then you basically scoff and make fun of us, say, I pay all something Russia have and you know, Russia is done. Because you know the whole, whole Soviet Union thing, you know, kind of get messed up. People are usually jealous, but now in a time now when Russia is preparing, getting ready, you know, for make them move, and America can't where the scripture says to take place here, right? So the scripture says, before it come to pass, and show us. So they're willing for a show us, prophecies them, right? One. Let's see, um. Yeah, verse 3 again, you say, I declare the former things from the beginning, Gone. and they went forth out of my mouth, Gone. and I showed them and did them suddenly, Gone. and they came to pass. And they came to pass. Go on. Say, because I knew that thou are abstain, thou are abstain, Gone. Or abstinent, abstinent. Gone. and thy neck is an iron sinew, Gone. and they, and thy bro, brass, I have even from the beginning Gone. declare it to thee. Before it came to pass, before them come to pass, go on. I show it to thee. Can't you say the Lord will do nothing but he revealed his secrets unto his servants and prophets? Go on. Say, before it came to pass, I show it to thee. Can't these thou should say, Mine idols has done them. Can't and my graven image and my molten image had commanded them. Can't right, right. So, exactly. Right, so all these things, you know, the scriptures say, I will take place, right? So yeah. now we're seeing them, all the moves they make to bring forth the, the, the third world's war destruction and also, you know, the Revelation 13 and 16 are done. With MOTB, we see the CBDC thing I push right across the world. The framework, you know, for the MOTB written in Revelation 13 and 16 are done, yeah. right? So all the moves I make right now, so we see how close they are right now, you know, to, yeah. to, to the end of the society because the two main prophecies they've been waiting for over the years coming up. Two main prophecies. You no, know, Armageddon, World War III, and also the MOTB. And the MOTB has basically become monetary before this war kick off full fledged. Right? Go on, brother. So, um, Isaiah 55 and 11. Can? It says, So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. Can? It shall not return unto me void, Can? but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing where unto I sent it. Can? So it how about Shemir Shireda come to pass? You know, we return and team vice. Everything with the scripture say, all the prophecies and everything in the Bible are come to pass. Right? The scripture say, um, the, the Lord is not a man that you should lie. So everything with the scripture say gonna happen, are gonna happen. World War III is gonna take place, they're gonna have a nuclear destruction. Thus said the Lord. I will see the preparation taking place. Even NATO. Right account where the scripture say, the turn on and the beast. Right, the beast is who? NATO today. But then it was what? The Roman Empire. Today, NATO alongside the EU shall hate the war. The war is America. So all who see even America and allies them are turned from America. That written in the scriptures are going to take place. Right? Go on, brother. Um, this is the article from RT News. Um, so on the 3rd. 1st of July 2022. Done. 
says, um, he says, U.S. should pull out of NATO, Congresswoman. He says, um, he says, the U.S. should pull out of, Na of, of transatlantic alliance instead of waging a proxy war against Russia. See? A Republican lawmaker says, right. so you have the, you have the, right now you have the Republican um, against uh, the Democrats right. see? in America. So, Hey, any, 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 any law the Democrats put in place right now, you have, you have actually, I say, the Republicans over here against it. Done. So, them, the country, yeah, they're not united no more, they're not united, they're divided. Man. You can call them the divided states now. See? He said, um, he said, Washington, he said, Washington should pull out instead of sending billions of taxpayers' dollars to Ukraine and risking a nuclear war according to a Republican Congresswoman um, who has been highly critical of Washington's response to the Ukraine crisis. Mm -hmm. and, and America has been spending a lot of money, you know, and military weapons into Ukraine to fight against Russia. And I'm seeing more and more say there is no much Russia. Right? Because Russia, the Russian basically has been preparing for years for this thing. Years, part of our years have been preparing, yeah. you know, getting ready for this final battle. And even if I don't want to do that. But they want to basically put the, the spirit on these Russians, you know, basically reach the level they reach right now. Because they're going to play a very important role, you know, as I mentioned, in this coming destruction. Right? Let's get your brother. This is Joel 3, verse 9. It says, what? Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles, Man? prepare war, wake up the mighty men, that all the men of war draw near. So all the armies are going to draw near in the Middle East. So what we, we see happening in Ukraine right now is just a preparation. You know, for this third world war destruction, right? They're just eating up, you know, um, this, um, this third world war, or this Armageddon spirit more and more, right? Go on. They say, um, let all the men of war draw near. Go on. Let them all come up. Let them come up in the Middle East because there would be a this war will start, right? In the Middle East. Go on. Beat your blow, shears and sword, Go on. and your pruning hook into spears. Go on. Let the weak say, I am strong. Go on. Exactly. Because if beat your plow shears into sword and you're puny look into spears. Now we're in a time when nation has spent money, a lot of money, you know, on weaponry, right? And getting them army, you know, up to a certain level. See, even you, even America, I better go into the article, spend a lot of taxpayers' money, you know, on, yeah. on um, weaponry, sending to Ukraine. And in because we're actually in a time of war, we're in the time yeah. of the Third World War destruction, right? Go on. Assemble yourself. And come up all the Eden go on. and gather yourself together around the boat. Come up, the big lease, yo. Go on. It's a tither cause the mighty ones to come down, O Lord. Go on. This is the angels. Right. It's a let the Eden be awakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat. Come up to what? The valley of Jehoshaphat. Jehoshaphat. Right? In the Hebrew, right. Yahushaphat. In Yahweh's judgment, we found Heavenly Father. Yahweh gonna judge all his army. Right? In the big lease. Around the Persian Gulf. Go on. For there will I sit to judge all the all the Eden thrown about. It's a put your put ye in the sickle. Can. For the harvest is ripe. Come get you down, for the press is full. Can. The fat overflow, for their wickedness is great. Can. Of course, so can white man wickedness is great and hurt you. Right? It's a multitude, multitudes in the valley of decision. In the valley of decision, in the Middle East. The valley of decision. One. For the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision. Go on. So in the Middle East, how this war going to start? Kick start. Right? But you know, as I mentioned before, this war kick, kick, kick off full fledged. You know, you have certain prophecies have come to pass. You know, before this war kick off full fledged. Right? Like one of the main ones, as I mentioned, the MOTV. Right? In, in Revelation, you know, 13 and 16 and down. Right? 14 and 9 and down. Right? The judgment will written. Right, if you take that device, what will basically happen to you? Can. Right, go on, brother. It says here, it says, um, it says Ukraine is, is the new Iraq, wrapped up with, with a pretty little NATO bow with a nuclear um, present inside. Um, she wrote, it says, the, the, America, the American people do not want war with Russia. But NATO and our own foolish leaders are dragging us into one we should pull out of NATO. Right. Yeah. Right. And, and it's bigger, you know, leaders. 
Okay. Right, because you really find the one, you know, using the angels then, right. you know, yeah. basically make these men go at it, you know? right? Coming out and ask, remember that? Job 23 and 40. What's the Job 23 and 40. This is Job 33. Verse 14. Uh, verse 14. Well? He said, For God had speak once, yea twice, yet man perceive it not. Well. In a dream, in a vision of the night. So they will find the thing, you know? Right? Skip your sit. In a dream, in a vision of the night, one. When deep sleep falleth upon men, well. in slumberings upon the bed. So when you are asleep on your bed, in the night time, one. Then he opened the ears of men and sealed their instructions. And sealed their instructions. So it's this big on uh, you know, the prime minister, you know, and, 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 and certain leaders who are the certain things right now. And the president. And the president. They all go back to the Heavenly Father. You know, the one, you know, we are basically are using the angels and we put the spirit on these men. I work on the mind of these men. That's why I go back then in the ancient time. We basically go at war. Right? And do these things so they can provoke Russia more and more. You know, put the beer more and more so Russia can basically fulfill the prophecy but with in Ezekiel 38. Right? So they're gonna think an evil thought and go up to the land of unwalled villages. So they have to do these things so these prophecies can come to pass. Go on. He said that he may withdraw man from his purpose go on. and hide pride from man. Go on. Exactly. Right? This is Jeremiah 51 verse 9. He said we would have healed Babylon. But he, but go, she go, go is go not more. ill. More, more. So this is Jeremiah 51 verse 6. Right. They flee out of the midst of Babylon. Flee out of the midst of Babylon. Right? Okay. You know, have a flee basically what? Spiritually, because if you even leave America, which is basically Babylon today, and go to another different country, you're still gonna get judged. Because it's destroyed where's what destruction and it, it, right across the world gonna have chaos. There is no safe place for you to run to, you know, in this third way of destruction. Right? So that's how you're supposed to please, you know, please basically spiritually or mentally. Right? Turn from this way of life, you know, before the time of destruction. Because you can clearly see that we're actually in the time of the destruction of the society. Right? So people say, flee. Right? Flee out of the midst of Babylon. Flee out of the midst of Babylon. Turn from this wicked way of life. Right? Go on. And deliver every man his soul. Go on. Be not cut off in your iniquity. Be not cut off in your know, America iniquity. Right? Don't follow you know all the things you see are pushing the society. Do what they will. Right, go on. That philosophy. Yes. Go on. For this is the Lord's vengeance. For this is the time. Hold on. Yeah, go on. This is the time of the Lord's vengeance. Um, for this is the time of the Lord's vengeance. Go on. He will render unto her. A recompense. He will render unto her a fear back America. We not time when America is going to get judged for all the wickedness, all the things that they basically been doing over the years coming up. We actually in that time right now they are going to get judged by the Heavenly Father. Go on. So Babylon had been a golden cup in the Lord's hand Go on. that made all the earth drunk. So all the earth drink of this, this um, philosophy, this way of life, following this way of life, America way of life. Go on. It's democracy. Go on. <laughs> Said that the nation, um, the nation have drunk enough for wine. Go on. Therefore the nations are mad. Because so therefore the nations are mad. So the nation will follow America we are flying. Now them basically getting fed up and tired, you know, with America right now. Uh, right? You see them taking time, you know, one back of the other, you know, a jump ship from America. Right? All America allies them to take time a draw from America. Right? They can't fit up and tell America. Because everybody will wake up to America that America is a problem and it hurt you. Go on, brother. It's a Babylon is suddenly falling Can? and destroyed. All for her. A bomb for her pain, Can? if so be she may be ill. Can? We would have healed Babylon, but she is not ill. Can? Forsake her and let us go every man into our own country. Can? For her judgment reach unto heaven and is lift up even to the skies. Can? He said, The Lord had brought forth. Um, John, I'm just jump to verse 11. He said, May bright the arrows, gather the shield. Can? The Lord had raised up the spirit of the kings of the Medes. God, since you said the Lord had raised up the Hawa, through them and the Heavenly Father in the Hebrew, had raised up, my one had stirred up the Russians, them, right? Using the angels, them, as the brother got in the scripture earlier, using the angels to work on the mind 
you know, and, and he's rushing and all these leaders so the prophecy system can come to pass. That's how the heavenly father did thing, you know. Go on. For his device is against Babylon. For the heavenly father purpose is against Babylon, which is America today, go on. To destroy it. To destroy it, go on. Because it is the vengeance of the Lord. Because it is the vengeance of the Lord, go on. The vengeance of his temple. Go on, exactly. Go on, bro. It says, um, it says here, it says, grinding up Ukraine um, to fight with Russia it's disgusting. They could have been an ally. Um, she tweeted. See? Marjorie Taylor Greene also list, listed a host of problems that she sees as as more pressing um, for the American people. See? From soaring inflation to um, to fant um, fantasy. Um, um, overdoses and rampant crime. The only people in vying for a conflict with Russia are those who make money of it. He claimed. See? <laughs> so, so basically, as I said, hey, they must do it because they must do it because the Lord said he must put this spirit on them. Yeah. If I say put it in his heart yeah. to fulfill his will. Put it fulfill his will, man. God. So they must right. do what they must do, man. And even the father yeah. will. Right? Probably. Yeah. 17. 17 and 14. Right? This is Revelation 13. Verse 14. Right? The D shall make war. No, 14. 14. 17 and 14. Um, Revelation 17 verse 15. What? So, and he said unto me, God. The waters with those size, where the war is fit, where the war is fit, the war is basically America, right? Our people and multitude and nations and tongues. Can because you have all different nations from all different walks of life, you know, come to America to live. You know, America known as one land of opportunity. Right? So you have all different people living in America. America known as a melting pot. So the water represent people, multitude, nations, and tongue. Right, go on. You say, and the ten arms which thou sawest upon the beast. And the ten arms which thou sawest upon the beast. Right, the beast back then was the Roman Empire. You know, fast forward to today, the beast is what? NATO. You know. So the scripture has said, the ten arms which thou sawest upon the beast. Right, the beast is NATO today. Right, so these European nations. Right, this is how the scripture says it will take place. It's because it's a part of prophecy. One, he said, these shall eat the war. These shall eat the war. So they're gonna eat America. We see already seen the America allies and turning from them. One back of the other, as they mentioned, because ultimately go back to prophecy. So he said, these shall eat the war. So these European nations are gonna eat America, right? One, and shall make her desolate. And shall make her desolate. One, and naked, and shall eat her flesh. One, and burn her with fire. And burn her with fire. Talking about what? ICBM missile fire. Right, so these European nations are going to fire high CBA missile also in America. Can't do what written in the scripture. Can't you, brother? Yes, For God has put it in your heart. For your how about Shemir Shem? Put it in your heart, put it in your mind. Go back to the Hebrew word, lamp, which basically means mind. So they really father want to use the angels them to work on the mind of these leaders so they can fulfill the prophecy. Right, right the scripture said, God had put it in their heart, in their mind. One. To fulfill his will. To fulfill his will. Because there is only one will and his heavenly father will. Go on. He said, And to agree and give their kingdom unto the beast. Go on. And the words of God shall be fulfilled. Go on. And everything going to come to pass as I mentioned. Go on, brother. Go on. Um, it's Amakuk. Amakuk um, 2 1 verse 5. He yeah, also because he transgressed by wine, Can? he is a proud man. Can talking about who he saw either which is so called white man. He, trans he transgressed by what? In philosophy. Yeah. Right? Like in democracy, you know, in pushing and all his nation. Right across the world. You know, all his nation taking on him, them, them freedom we apply. Right? Go on. Neither keep it, neither keep it at home. He's talking about the American military. They don't keep it at home. Right? Then they all over the world. America is a police for the earth. How much the earth as scripture said? They in everybody's business. Okay. Right? Who, who enlarged his desire as hell and is as death 
and cannot be satisfied. They can never be satisfied, no matter, no matter how much they get. They always want more. See? Right, what? Um, but gather it unto him all nations, okay. and if it, it, it unto him all people, okay. see? Shall not all these take up a, a parable against him, okay. and a taunting proverb against him, okay. and say, Woe to him that increaseth that, that which is not is. Okay. That, oh. that which is not is gone. How long unto him that laid it himself with thick clay? Gone. Alright, and a thick clay go back to her. Yeah. I bought ya. It's the Hebrew word, meaning be in death. Yeah, and, and I see something when the lady is saying at the article. Gone. Um, she basically congresswoman has said. Gone. Among like, I take taxpayers' money and I spend in a war against Ukraine. Then, so, so this one, a more, a more debt for the yeah. American economy, man. So the economy at the time will crumble. Ultimately, we're going to have an economic collapse very, very soon. Right? There's a change. Circle in the drain. Because there's a change that takes place right now. You know, seeing, you know, countries, you know, they basically feared, right? Feared to basically, you know, um, do certain things or, or, off, or try to be off in America. No, they might do it. They don't fear America no more. Like as I, as I mentioned, the main one, Saudi Arabia. I make fun. You know, the president of America. And they could do one time. Right? The show is saying America is falling and these nations see, see America weakness. Then they say Russia can defend them along with China. So they, they start to jump ship on America now. Right, go on, brother? So, this is Jeremiah 49, verse 31. Go on. So, arise, get you up unto the wealthy nation. This is America, that wealthy place, right? The, the golden city, the land of opportunity. As you know, go on. That dwell without fear. That dwell without fear. Go on. Say the Lord. Um, which have neither gates nor bra bars. Can, because you know, going back to ancient time, you know, or ancient you know time, you know, or cities usually built back then. You have you have a gate, right? You have you have a city wall around. Can. And you have a tower. You know, man, but the pan tower basically I watch out. See, you no know, enemy are coming here, nothing happen. You know, for for today, you not know, really have these things no more, right? Go on, brother. Yeah, um, which have neither gates nor bars, Can? which dwell alone. And they're going to dwell alone. All these nations, all them allies are going to turn from America. Can't what written in the scripture. Every single one of them is going to turn them back on America. And left them and, and the so-called Jews. Right, go on. The, and your camel shall be a booty. Can? And the multitude of your cattle a spoil. Can? And I will scatter into all winds them that are in the uttermost corner. Can? And I will bring their cal um, calamity. calamity from all sides thereof. Can't say, Lord. Can't say, Pastor, the Lord said, I'm going to bring America calamity from all sides thereof. Right? Merely from the north. Right? I can't do what we can do in Jeremiah. Alright? Go on, brother. It's um, Jeremiah 15, verse 29. It says, um, call, it says, call, it says, it says, call together. It says, um, Call together the archers against Babylon. Can. All he that all he that bend the bow. Can talk in about what? The ICBM missiles. Right, the modern day bow. Mm -hmm. One. Says, says camp against it round about. Can. Let none there have escape. Can. Recom recompense her according to her works. So recompense her, meaning payback. America, for all our America been doing. Let's check America track record, you know, over the years coming up. How much country them invade? You know, and destroy, you know, and destabilize and put in puppet government. So the scripture says, recompense her, pay back her. One, then, according to all that she had done, Can. do unto her, Can. for she had been proud against the Lord. Can. You see, you have been proud against the Lord, you know, last month, you have been proud month. The pride, the pride month, how you want to call it. Can. Right? I celebrate the independence today. Can. I celebrate the independence, the brother mentioned, the yeah. independence day. Go on. Mm -hmm. Finish. Against the, the only one of Israel. Go on. Say, Therefore shall her young men fall in the streets. Go on. You know, over the years, you know, mm -hmm. these things been happening to countries, you know, even in the Middle East. You know, in, in the Middle East, you know, you have people going about them, them regular life, you know, going to the market. I even, I have them even a wedding. Mm -hmm. A wedding I go on, you know, and a missile has come, boop, sudden. A you blast. You know, that's how. That's how, that's how um, this nation been, been, been going through over the years coming up. Right, but America now, we're not telling America, what is Western world going to 
gonna face all these things where all these country in the Middle East been facing for years. Yeah, right? Now, see, to deal treacherously. God, they are gonna deal treacherously, treacherously with, with you, So we need time when this side are gonna face all these things, yo. God. What? It says, Therefore shall our young men fall in the streets, God. and all our men of war God. shall be cut off in that day, say the Lord. God. Exactly. Yeah. It says, um, Behold, I am against thee, O most proud, o thou, o thou most proud, say the Lord, Yahweh of hosts, for, the, for thy day is come, the time that I will visit thee. Yeah, man. Exactly. When I turn on America, the Hawa Hashem is going to judge America, you know, for all the wickedness. You know, because, you know, from the time, you know, Christopher Columbus came over this side of the world, you know, and all the Indian, them, and the so called Indian, which is basically that kingdom, but then go see over this side of the world, try to Israelites them, that own kingdom, and slaughter much of them, you know, and do all these things, chop off their hand, to basically find gold, give them and all these things. Coming up to, to even our, our four parents, we get brought over here in cargo slave, cargo slave ship. Coming up to now, all know they don't pay for nothing at all. But we actually turn now when the Heavenly Father, you know, you have a tune them in the evil, to him son you have a shall gonna judge him. Because no one on earth can judge him. They are the one in power. Who can judge him? Right? They are the one in authority. They make the laws, but we don't turn on the heavenly father to the son of God judge him. That time period we live in right now. Right? Eh? Yeah? Mm -hmm. It says, um, okay. it says and, the most, and the most proud shall stumble and fall, Run. and none shall, ra shall raise him up. Run. And I will kindle a fire in, the, in his cities, and it shall devour all round about him. Run. It says, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the children of Israel. God, which is basically the Northern Kingdom, as you have mentioned, God. right? That is the Native American Indian, right? And the Latinos, they, be, they come over this side of the world. Right? According to what written in um, 2 Ezus um, 13 and, and 40 and down, God. the 10 tribes come over this side of the world when never, never mankind dwell. Right, go on? And the children of Judah, which is what the southern kingdom, right? Judah, the um, so-called Negroes, West Indians, and the Asians God. today, what? We're oppressed together. We're oppressed together because both of us been oppressed by this man from the time they come over the southern world, even until this very day. Both the southern kingdom and the northern kingdom been oppressed, what? In together, and all that took them captives, what? Held them fast and refused. To let them go. Refuse to let us go. Just like our fear, refuse to let our poor parents go going back to the time of Asian teaching. Set themselves one against another. God. What them do and been chosen. Then, so basically when at that time when the Lord has judged all these heathens, what they have done and these, these precious fruits. Yeah? Finish brother? Isaiah 29 verse 15. Can. He said, Woe well, unto them that see weep. To hide their guns from the Lord, and their works are in darkness. Man. And they say, Who saith us? Man. And who knoweth us? It's so a surely you're turning up things upside down. Man, because right now, in this society, everything going the opposite way. Man. What is good, put us bad thing now. People look down for what is good, yo. Mm -hmm. What is super tell us that the laws are good. The laws of the Heavenly Father is good. People look down for the, for the weird the Heavenly Father right now because wickedness is so, you know popular right now in this society, people proud with the wicked, right? right. So the scripture says, surely I've turned enough things upside down, everything going the opposite way, right? That's a backward society, go on. So, um, surely you're turning up things upside down, right. shall be esteemed as a potter's clay, right. for shall the work say unto him that made it, right. he made me not, right. or shall the things that frame say of him that frame it, right. he had not he had no understanding. So, um, where was it? I don't know. 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 I
yet smoke the people. He who smoke the people, so that he who smoke the people in wrath and with a continual stroke, he that ruled the nation in anger and is persecuted and none hindered. And um, the world, the whole world, the whole earth, the whole earth, so like the whole earth is at risk. And so this is what will happen. You know, after this nuclear destruction we're preparing right now take place, right? This is what will happen, right? So the whole earth will be at risk. Right, because the money will cause all the problems on the earth and get removed from out of power. Go on. And it's quiet. They break forth into singing. Go on. Yea, the fir tree rejoice at thee. Go on. And the cedar, cedars of Lebanon Go on. say, saying, Since thou art laid down, no fella is come up against thee. Go on. So since it's against us. Go on. So, so if the trees them going to rejoice you, if the trees them. Right, and you say, I'm tree also represent, represent man. Right? So even these Eden nations are gonna rejoice when this man gets removed out of power. Right? The scripture tell us when the wicked are in authority, the people mourn. Right? So when a righteous ruler goes in, the people are gonna rejoice you. So the wicked is getting ready to be moved from out of power. Why oh the heavenly father? Right? Through the son how we shine. That's what basically getting ready to take place. Right? Because according to what written in the scripture, right, the Lord how we shine is gonna basically remove him, right? In Revelation arm 12. That day will come. Right? They're going to get booted from out of rulership. Right? So that may I say all praises and honor. And to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushai, Bashim, Kakodash. And double honor to the apostles, you know, and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to all the brothers and all the pushing the truth in our sincerity and in all honesty. Shalom.